With Thanksgiving right around the corner, it's time to think about what to do with all that leftover turkey. I'm Tess, and tonight I'm making turkey enchiladas with a creamy white sauce. I roasted a turkey earlier in the week, and we had our main meal, and now I have lots of leftover turkey. Lucky me! Tonight I am making some turkey enchiladas with a creamy white cheesy sauce. In a large bowl I have about three cups of shredded leftover turkey, and I'm using both white and dark meat. Adding in some cheese, and I'm using a combo of Monterey Jack and mozzarella. You can use what you like. Adding in one small can of chopped green chilies. I found this at Audi's. It is a Hidden Valley Fiesta Ranch Dip Mix. I am adding this to the turkey mixture and also to the white sauce for some Mexican Fiesta flavor. If you can't find this Fiesta Ranch, you can just add your favorite taco seasoning or just season to your liking. For a little moisture to bring this all together, I'm adding in a little green enchilada sauce. I'm not adding any salt, as I know the cheese and the Fiesta Ranch have plenty. Just remember to taste and season as you like. Give everything a good mix to combine. For the white sauce, I'm starting by making a roux with some butter and flour. Cooking and stirring on medium heat for a couple minutes, and then I'm adding in some liquids. I'm adding in some turkey broth and turning my heat up to a medium high to bring this up to a simmer. Also adding in some milk, and you can make it creamier by using heavy cream or half and half. Seasoning with the Hidden Valley Fiesta Ranch and mixing in. I also decided to add in some garlic powder. The sauce has been simmering a couple minutes and it's thickened and it is tasting great. I'm turning off my heat and adding in some grated cheese, stirring until melted. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm spooning and spreading out a couple scoops of the white sauce onto the bottom of my baking dish. This is just so the enchiladas don't stick. I am using flour tortillas tonight. I prefer to use smaller ones, but this is the only size the store had. First, I'm brushing both sides with the green enchilada sauce. This is just to get the tortilla pliable to roll. Placing a nice hefty portion of my turkey mixture in the middle, giving everything a roll, and placing seam down in my baking dish. If I have any extra turkey mixture, I usually just sprinkle it right over the top. Tonight, I didn't have any leftovers. Next, I'm pouring the delicious creamy Fiesta white sauce all over the top. I could have backed off a little on the white sauce, but you can add as much as you like. Topping everything with the remainder of my grated cheese. This is going into a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for 25 to 30 minutes or until everything is bubbly hot. I like to stick the enchiladas under a low heat broiler for a minute to give the top a nice golden brown. Keep the oven door open a little bit and watch the enchiladas the entire time while broiling. You don't want them to burn. The turkey enchiladas are done and smelling wonderful. Letting these cool for a good 15 minutes before serving. Meanwhile, I'm adding more flavor and decoration to the top with some chopped green onions and tomatoes. These leftover turkey enchiladas are so rich and good. I can taste the Hidden Valley Fiesta Ranch flavors and cumin really stands out. The creamy cheesy white sauce really melts everything together. I hope you give these leftover turkey enchiladas a try and enjoy. If you like this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steemit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!